I'm Heather and this is Yayan. On our channel we will be buying a Luton van, turning it into the home of our dreams and travelling the world with our two fur babies in tow. Subscribe below if you want to join us as we upload weekly on this adventure of a lifetime. About to leave, already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking, we'll get away. To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away Hey guys, welcome back to our channel uh, We're heading off on another adventure this weekend This time we're going to Plymouth down on the south coast Because the weather is absolutely stunning And we're definitely going to use that last week of summer while we've got it yeah, It might weeks. be the last couple of days, we're not sure So we're really trying to rush and get down there uh, I'm going to do some spear fishing, hopefully Well, I don't have, my spear gun didn't turn up in time But I'm going down to meet a guy down there who's got a gun and stuff So I'm going to go chill out with him underwater for a bit uh, And you're going to... Do some swimming and then maybe head over to the other coast And catch some waves if there's the chance But to be honest, I'm just going to be happy to be at the beach for a couple of days Oh yeah, catching some rays, chilling out on the sun <laughs> And trying to stop these dogs from causing trouble Right, we're good to go? We're getting on the road Let's go It's actually only a three hours, 30 minute drive, but there's an hour's worth of traffic. Oh, an hour's 10, even better. Now looking back, eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde, a classic cliche. We have arrived. We've arrived. We were just coming down a bit of a bumpy track and something smashed in the back. I think it was our cafetier, which is not great, but um, we're in a stunning little spot right by the sea. Gotta let these doggies out though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Steady on. What has happened here, girls? Gosh darn it. First time anything has ever smashed. First time for everything, isn't it, babies? Come on. Steady. Just went for a wee walk on the beach that we're coming back to tomorrow. Girlies had a little swim. We didn't, but they did. In the rock pools. Gonna have a swim in the morning, aren't we? Yeah, and now we're heading off to find our campsite, stop off for some firewood, and cook up some delicious grub. See you there. Grub <laughs> is on the go. We've got lentil and spinach curry tonight, which you're meant to have an oven for, but make it work it yeah smelling good gonna be tasty the aubergines oh, roast them up they're yeah but they've been fried and it's smelling delicious so I am starving and it's everything stopping me from having a snack right now so <laughs> get this done as fast as possible I'm gonna have a snack she's going to have a snack oh there's a bed she's going to have a snack um, Brandy is uh, coming up with the escape plan as we speak, aren't you? Brandy, can you sit down? Rose, you've been a good girl, aren't you? And grub is up. Yum, yum, yum. Good morning. Morning. Yes. 
It is the next day. <laughs> Never truly awake in the morning until you've had your coffee. Yine is off. Um, spear diving today. I'm probably going to go for a swim. It is very misty around here. So I'm really hoping that burns off and we get some of that beautiful sunshine that we had driving down yesterday. See you at the beach. The first time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're off. <laughs> First little day. <laughs> it's quite hard to stay down without a uh, without a weight belt on, but it's not bad. And if I had fit, it would be even easier. <laughs> me out. So I managed about an hour and a half before my toes and hands started to go completely numb. <laughs> but I'm gonna go warm up now. And I'm out the water. Uh, finally warmed up. I couldn't, <laughs> I tried recording straight after I got out but I was uh, like this shaking, <laughs> so cold so I couldn't film anything. Um, but I've managed to get feeling back in my toes and hands now. I was out for about an hour and a half, so I ordered a whole bunch of spear fishing gear because um, I've been on about getting some for a while uh, to go out with Dan, and I it didn't turn up in time, <laughs> so I had to go out in my like surfing wetsuit uh, and my shoes, but I didn't have any gloves and I didn't have a like a hat. So it, when you have like a spear fishing wetsuit, you have like a full full head, um, and they do keep you a lot warmer. So I was pretty cold after about an hour and a bit I realized that I couldn't feel my feet anymore so I needed to come back in um, but other than that it was really really good fun but other than that it was really good fun we um, we saw plenty of fish a lot too small for us to shoot at uh, Dan had a shot at a couple of bass that he saw out um, which I couldn't see but I was I didn't have any fins or weights so I couldn't really get down very well so I was kind of getting down I managed to get down for about 30 seconds that was my kind of longest longest dive uh, and I went down to about mm, four meters or so um, but that was without any weights or anything. If I'd had some fins and some weights, it would have been a lot better. Uh, but I really, really enjoyed it. I've got the bug. I'm waiting, waiting for my kit to come now so that I can go out again uh, and hopefully come and enjoy the beach a bit more. It's, it's so nice being up there to actually see what's under the water, see all the rocks, see all the different fish. It's so, so cool. Um, and it's really quite calm. It's quite a nice, relaxing sort of thing to do. Um, so I recommend it to anyone if you want to get involved in this sort of stuff just get a snorkel and just go out snorkeling to start with and once you get into it you'll get hooked uh, and you'll bloody, you'll want to do it all the time <laughs> anyway what are we doing now Heather we go off to another beach heading to a beach where there's some waves maybe I've got my surfboard with me and it's a miserable day so we may as well get yeah. wet in our wetsuits and yeah have some vitamin C we're gonna have some fun so out There's a life I lead in this city Hurry in to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy Just good fun? Yeah, super good Bicep pump See the veins? This is how you get a hench We do have a gym <laughs> Hey! Should I take the orb? Of course. Yain's gonna do some paddle surfing. I'm gonna do some real surfing. Real surfing? Yep. <laughs> she it, wouldn't know real surfing if it hit her in the face. Oh, well, that's, might do. It's definitely going to. This is why they call it the surf and turf. I try surf and I get turf. Yep, the face. Getting smashed. The waves look super good. Loads of people still out there. It's about going on for five o'clock now. And so we're going to do this, work up an appetite, and then start cooking up some food for dinner. Worst feeling in the world. Well, yeah, I went spearfishing this morning, so he's going to have to put this wet, so wet. wet suit. Huh. Guess what? Jokes on you. I'm not putting it on yet. Huh. Putting the dogs away first, <laughs> so I don't have to put it on yet. Do -do -do -do. There she is, the almighty board. <laughs> 
If I could take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with a place to So I've just been out there surfing for the last half an hour or so Yai was trying to get some drone shots from the top Terrible communication <laughs> between the two of us But I was standing here looking for him Apparently he was at the top waving at me I couldn't see him because I'm blind as a bat And then there was a, a paddle boarder Way out there, Yai's got the paddle board today so I was like, okay, he must have just given up on the drone. That must be him. I don't like going out that deep. It was really freaking deep. So I surfed, I paddled out. But again, something I don't like doing because my shoulders are on fire. <laughs> paddled way out to try and find this paddle border. It wasn't until I was like literally three meters away from him that I realized this paddle board was blue. Ours is orange. So I was like, frick's sake. I just paddled all the way out here for no reason. And then I was stuck because <laughs> all the waves out there were massive. And I kept trying to like just catch one to like, bodyboard in and I eventually did like slowly catching a few to get me to like somewhere that wasn't so crazy deep. Still super scarred from when we were in uh, Portugal and I was like tumble dried <laughs> by six waves in a row caught in a riptide. It was good fun. I caught one all the way back in but no drone shots. Sorry people. But look. We'll get some people. in the morning if you if loads we go surfing out, in the morning. Probably got a really dribbly nose now. Loads of people out surfing. Like literally about a hundred people in the sea right now and it is it's ripping. It can never be described as warm, but like it's room temperature water, which is the warmest it gets in the Waves UK. are awesome. These guys are flying along on big waves. Let's go get some. My shoulders are still on fire. Yeah, so we're going to ditch you now. We'll catch up with you later because uh, me and you are going to catch some waves. So we finished up surfing. It um, was super, super strong out there. Yain got absolutely wiped out on the paddleboard like six times. I gave it a go, got wiped out twice. But we've just been given a tip off on this really cool cliff. Um, park up spot for the night. To get some confidence How many debates <laughs> To earn some tailwind The years pass I'm still the same What will it take? We're up These man life crew people don't understand the meaning of getting up in the morning because it's now nine o'clock and none of them are out of their beds and we have packed up, put the dogs away, taken dogs for a walk and now we're heading to the beach. See ya! I ain't got a sweet tooth for lying It's been to show me how to succeed My wallet is spreading thin oh, ooh, 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 what to do I am me and not you A delicious croissant, some Cornish farm has bacon, and some brown loaf. Oh, look at those croissants, can you see them? Oh, yeah. There's Big Red, the big legend. How many dressing up for me to play some ball? Season. Yeah, it's almost as silly as you're not giving me any bacon. Our camping kettle. That's not a very flat, darling. Me too. And our. Bacon. And our chef. El Master Chef. Finally pulling his weight for the first time. Yeah, good breakfast on the stove. Rose is um, waiting for her piece of bacon. Aren't you, Rose? Desperately waiting. Oh my goodness, Rose. And Brandy, it's just been a crazy butt. Um, running around. <laughs> Hello baby. Hello baby. Yes, you like this van life stuff, don't you? Two million years later, Yayan has actually managed to cook some bacon after burning himself, I'm gonna say four times, maybe five? Twice. Twice. <laughs> it is looking good, but it has taken him literally 20 minutes to make this masterpiece. And cooks with the tools he has given, which is cool knife, 
really cool knife. <laughs> Giant pan and a tiny little hop. This is why we need a bigger pan. No offense, big red. I think I can safely say. Good sandwich. Sambo was worth the wait. Aha. Okay, now I'm going to get into my wetsuit and I'm going to go hit those waves. A little bit smaller than they were yesterday, which is a good thing for me at least. And, do and we will have a great time. <laughs> He will get better soon. This is gonna wrap up today's vlog though. Um, we've had a great weekend down here. This is uh, Widemouth Beach. People have been calling it Woodmouth. It's spelled Wide Mouth, uh, but there you go. Uh, awesome beach for surfing anyway. All the locals probably know that. Most people probably know that. And you can find the um, surf wave height uh, on Magic Seaweed if you ever do want to come down here. Uh, but yeah, you and had a really really good introductory to spearfishing and just go about to spend oh, yeah. all of our money on um, I've already spent it. a million so. pieces of things. It's arriving on Monday. Yeah. And I got introduced to paddleboard surfing, which is <laughs> such a fail. <laughs> well, no, like we've got an inflatable paddleboard, and apparently if you've got like a permanently blown up paddleboard, it's meant to be easier. But it was an experience to say the least. And um, well, we'll see you next time. Hopefully, going to see a Luton van this weekend. Um, so a little bit closer to the dream and yeah pretty much something yeah, we're out see you later uh heather where are we going this morning good morning everybody on this um on this miserable day we are going up past reading to see a luton van um it's the first one that we've gone to see and hopefully me and Yain will be driving home later in two cars or one car and one van, that'll be very exciting. And if not, well, we've started, we've started looking officially. Um, yeah, super exciting. But it is a proper winter's day here today. Um, officially, winter has arrived. <laughs> 